$1,000 was spent on these NBA mystery packs with a guaranteed graded card inside. Unlike the previous NBA cherry pies, these cost us $100 a pop, with the addition of a high-end mystery pack that set us back $350. We had some incredible pulls on our last NBA mystery pack opening. Let's see if the risk is worth the reward. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for joining us today. I'm riding shotgun with Steven. He's opening up the packs today. We've got seven cherry pies and we've got this cherry pick box, which I cannot wait to open up. So make sure you stay tuned for that. Ooh. Don't forget guys, as always, like, subscribe, leave a comment on the channel. Steven, you're running the show today. Let's Kick us it. off. Let's guys, we are amped to open up these again on the channel. A massive success with the last ones. We did, haven't we? We have. Um, a little bit of a small adjustment to these. There is no encase card in these. These are all graded so we're really psyched paid a little bit more of a premium for these but we've got seven of them to go and the pig cherry pie which is the big boy which we'll save to the end so make sure to stay tuned with that one first pie of the video Pick can up, we mate. start it good it is a bgs slab and it is a nine and a half rookie michael porter michael porter jr out of 99 on That's card rpa rookie how good is that? Hey, I I really dislike when they don't have the um, subgrades in there. Why would you Why would you go get the card graded without actually showing what you want to subgrade? I'm not too sure why people do it, but you know what? That is not a bad pull. At 18 to 19 Panini encased Michael Porter Jr. Is this game worn? So rookie patch auto. The enclosed player worn material and autograph are guaranteed. So this is a RPA officially. That is not too bad for the first cherry pie guys that's it that's a great start i think i like the card Ooh. i think the only feedback i'd give is michael porter jr sign in the center of the card it is a little bit sign off in the center of the card it would just look so much more symmetrical and nice but anyway yeah, nice autograph that's all right it's all good it's clean order all right and on to number two we're gonna rip these through pretty quickly guys i'm Let's we go, are mate. We've been waiting a while to open this up. We so. have. I think Cherry generally release about two or three of these a year. Like a year. So um, there is a bit of a backstory. Okay. But we'll get through. We'll okay. get, get to that shortly. Another Beckett. Another Beckett. Brandon, Brandon Ingram, Ingram. Rookie, rookie card. Donruss Optic Purple out of nine. Centering nine corners, nine edges, oh. nine and a half. And a surface, nine and a half. Not too bad. It is Not a rookie seat. Not too bad at all. Rookie. He is his rookie year. Okay. Prism, okay, from Duke. Wow, okay. All Brandon right. Ringham, not too much to write home about this one. Nah, not at all. We'll put all the cost below when the card pops up anyway. We'll have to do a bit of research when that uh, when that comes up. So the backstory with these is normally they cost $75 a pop and I think their run is around about 300 cards. There's obviously some real high-end cards in there as well and some not so high-end. Let's see what he gets now. We'll, we'll continue in a second. Okay, it is a PSA card. Excalibur. It is a LeBron James. 2014. A LeBron James. Was that his first year back? No. 2014 Panini Excalibur LeBron James. A purple. That is very a nice good. Card. I like it, that. It looks very, very minty. The corners look great on this card. Numbered out it of 75. Is, it is numbered out of 75. A LeBron numbered card is always great. Can the grade do well though? The back look good, the front look good. Can we get a 10? Yes, yes we can. Beautiful. Beautiful. Always good to have a PSA 10 LeBron James in the collection. Absolutely. You know what? Three cards we've ripped open so far. I haven't, you know what? I don't mind pretty, them. I'm pretty happy with them. I, yeah, I'm pretty yeah. happy with them. So I think with these cards here, just before Christmas, there was a bit of a delay with the run. So I think the run of cards was maybe a hundred, um, but they bumped up the price price with some higher end cards in there so normally 75 with the chance of encased all graded uh yeah but these are all great all graded cards for 100 bucks it's definitely worth it another psa a oh oh my goodness 2013 that's his that rookie that's his Ooh. rookie year a rookie Giannis has to be SP Authentic, graded out of nine. It hey. is a rookie is that the Giannis Antetokounmpo. It 
I don't know if he's here. I think it is. Is that the Greek jersey? I think it is the Greek jersey. It's definitely got a Greek flag on like there. That. Yeah. Wow. I've always wanted a Giannis a rookie card. That is fantastic. The Greek, nicknamed the Greek Freak. Freak because of his six foot 10 frame and solid ball handling skills. Absolute legend of a player. One of my favorites in the NBA at the moment. I am really, really glad to have pulled this card. I wish it was a 10, but I'm not going to complain. But yeah, I don't know if I'm going to be selling this one, guys. I might keep this one in the collection. That is awesome. Absolutely fantastic. So that one was from Upper Deck as well. Three more pies left. And then stay tuned because we've got that massive Basketball Treasures picked card. I am yeah. pumped for that. And I'm, I'm looking forward to good things in here. Pumped for that. Okay, another PSA. Prism. Damien Lillard. Lillard, SP Variations. Alrighty, Prism. It is a Prism. It is a Gem Mint 10 as well. Oh, good. Okay, okay, okay. Look how young he looks there. It's unbelievable. On the back, it is not numbered. It's a Silver Prism SP Variations. Okay, very cool, very cool. Nice, yeah, Portland. Fantastic. Well, he's not there no, anymore. He's with over Giannis. Been, you know, probably hovering around the 100, 150, maybe a little bit less for they, some of them. They've but been okay. They've been okay. Look, generally, guys, you can get anything from a dollar to like thousands of dollars from these sets. So you don't, never know what you can get. We've had some pretty low-end cards being pulled on these before. So. And that's the risk versus the reward, That right? is. That is. And it is a hey, Zion. Zion Williamson rookie card. Instant... PSA 9. His rookie year, I don't think this would be much. <laughs> One of 1952. What is that? Uh, is very interesting. I don't know exactly what that means. Is this the number one of the 1952? Or is this one of guys if you know let us know because that's kind of because if this is the first a bit. if this is the first card of the 1952 hopefully it'll be worth a little bit more money than we thought yeah but hey we'll have to definitely definitely take a look into that one all right beast beast lucky last pie on the channel lucky lucky last come now, on bring so home strong with it, this one that means we spent we've got seven of these so we spent 700 dollars on these We'll do a quick calculation as well to see how much of that came through. Okay, now a Jar Morant rookie red wave. That is Those a eight. brilliant, a brilliant card there. Wow. Okay. That should be numbered. That is awesome. I don't think oh, the red actually, waves the red are. Wave not no, but let's have a look. Uh, no, not, it is not, not numbered. Not numbered. Spilling. But it is a rookie red wave. Jar Morant, which is look. a massive, massive card. It actually looks very, very clean. You reckon a 10? I'm hoping for a 10. Give us a 10. Can we get a 10, guys? Yes, we can. Gemmin 10, Dude. Jar Morant. That is actually half decent pull. That is really, really good. That is he is good. an absolute talent. Could just come back from suspension. He's firing on all cylinders, and he honestly could be the face of the NBA one he, day. Um, we don't know. He just injured himself a couple of weeks ago. He's, he's out for the season. He yeah. Shoulder surgery. Um, he need, needing a uh, shoulder surgery, but... Mate, he's gone for the season. Crazy, isn't it? Yeah. Come back for a couple of weeks, absolutely killing it, and then bang, shoulders done. Season ending. Poor bugger. Injury. Okay, guys. This is the one we've one. been waiting for. Cherry picked basketball treasures. Go back to the card. It looks like it's got like the Lord of the Rings on the outside of it. <laughs> it's got one ring to rule them all. Uh, I love That's that. That's cool. That's awesome. Picked is a buyback product and not endorsed. Guys, when you make sure when you're buying mystery products as well, you understand what you're buying. We are not promoting this at all. We're just doing this for a bit of fun so you could win big you could win small we don't know yet that's the fun of it <laughs> that's the fun of it but we degenerates we are degenerates so can be dangerous know. guys can be very dangerous all right the one we've been waiting for 350 dollars worth so the backstory with these ones is these were made for a convention in asia yes Macau. And i think Macau. Macau. and there was quite a few left over so they went packaging's up on nice sale. And we got our hands nice. on one of them. We did. Packaging is very nice. It looks like it just opens and the card is directly in there. $350, guys. Let's see what this buys us. Now, you can get either an encased or graded card in this. It is not guaranteed graded. Now, three, two, one. Guys, let us open this bad boy and see what we get. Bam! Out of bio. Bam! Out of bio. Oh, it's not graded, unfortunately. No, it's not. It's not. Oh, wow. It's a college. The college I 
uh, use hearing trademarks owned by the receptive car. Oh, is it a rookie car? So I'm not too sure. The autograph is guaranteed by Panini America, totally certified. Let's see the front of it. Nice. Okay, Please, rookie, card. rookie roll call, Bam Autobio on card. Man, for three hundred and fifty dollars, honestly, I don't think that this is worth it. You kind of question why it's not graded. Like, can you see anything wrong with the card at all? No, you. I mean, it looks pretty clean from you what I've seen. You kind of feel like at some point someone would have made the decision. Look, let's not grade this. Yeah, not, yeah, hundred percent. Get a ten. But three hundred. I, I do not think this is anywhere near three hundred and fifty dollars. I would say subpar under a hundred dollars. Like, Bam's a great player. If this is his rookie year, well, that's it says rookie, rookie roll call 2017 to 18. Not graded. I'm not liking my chances. $350 this cost. You might as well have bought a cherry pie, I think. Yeah. Anyway, we'll do them. We'll have a look at the um, the figures and pop them up on the screen anyway. Uh, but I'm not too sure about that. I am not a Miami fan. So if anybody is, make sure to holler at us. We'll, we'll be putting it up possibly on eBay to sell. And then we get a little we save a hundred dollars on breaks. So we've done the count guys and we have come up short again, just really slightly. So we ended up at 996, so $54 short of what we actually uh, outlaid. Yeah, it's a little bit disappointing. I think that BAM out of buyer really let us down. For $350, we ended up making, what, 60 bucks off that. that if was you actually take bad. the BAM out of the equation, you spent $700 on, on cherry pies and you made mm. $956. It's so, not bad. When you look at it like that, that's definitely good. So, so maybe um, next time we'll just stick to our cherry pies and go from there. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Anyway, guys, thanks for joining us today. Make sure you like, subscribe, leave a comment on the channel. Let us know what you like today out of our cards. There were some decent ones that we pulled. Other than that, thanks for joining us and we'll catch you next time. See you guys. Peace. Peace.